Ken Bostrom Ministries. Beginning January 2018, Ken Bostrom Ministries engaged in a whole new assignment by entering the airwaves of the world. Don't miss Ken and Mary Bostrom Ministries Live. Hello everyone, welcome to United Purpose Broadcast. I'm Dr. Ken Bostrom along with my gorgeous wife over here, Mary. And uh, we got a program today for you that's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to learn some things about Hanukkah. And uh, Mary's going to explain some things uh, to us, and I'm going to just listen to what she's got to say. She's loaded up here. She's got some PowerPoints for us and everything, and it's going to be a blessing. So we're excited. Stay tuned uh, to hear what, uh, what the good Lord has to say. Father, we thank you today. Yes, we bless you, Lord God. We're so awesome, Lord. We thank you for this, this special time, Lord God, to share about Hanukkah. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we'll be able to hear what the Spirit of the Lord will say to us through this word today. We thank you, we bless you, we bless those that are watching right now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Well, Mary, you got something for us that's pretty exciting, amen? So yeah, let us have it. We're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. You know, amen. a lot of people think that, um, that Hanukkah is just a Jewish celebration, uh, but it's not. It's, it's not just a Jewish celebration. That's right. And we're, we're going to talk about that. And um, it's an exciting celebration. And uh, we're going to have a slide here that shows you where we are now it's a, on the hebrew calendar it's kislev 25 hanukkah is kislev 25. now this year in 2020 it starts in the, at sundown on december 10th and it ends on the 18th it's an eight day celebration and so that's what a Han hanukkah looks like on the last night with all the candles lit and that's so um you know i remember a year that hanukkah was on thanksgiving <laughs> I remember a year that Hanukkah was on, on Christmas. Hanukkah is different every single year because we have a, a, a solar calendar mm -hmm. and the Muslim people have a lunar calendar, but the Jewish calendar is solar lunar, but it follows the sun. And um, so it's, it's, uh, it's interesting how you think, uh, how come last year it was on Christmas? And you know, it's because they're, we have 365 days in mm -hmm. our calendar, mm -hmm. and they do not. And so, um, so it's an exciting thing. You know, uh, this is one of the holidays, and it's a Memorial Day. Uh, you know, there's seven feasts of the Lord. Remember, mm -hmm. first one was Passover. Feast of the Lord, not feast of the Lord. A feast is, in mm -hmm. Hebrew is uh, it means a moedim. It's a the word Hebrew word is moedim, and it means a fixed appointed time on God's calendar. And it's really prophetic. It actually that that calendar of of the we call it the prophetic calendar. Mm -hmm. uh, we that started on Exodus chapter twelve. When God said to Moses, this is the beginning of months for you. And so that's when you start counting the months. And God has fixed appointed time as in that calendar. Now, Jesus has fulfilled four of the seven. Mm -hmm. He's, he was the Passover lamb. He was the unleavened bread. He who knew no sin became sin for us, that we mm -hmm. might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And he was, he was the first fruit of those risen from the dead. So he fulfilled Passover unleavened bread and, fe and first fruits on the day and on the very hour. And 50 right. days later, after first fruits, is Pentecost. And that was fulfilled in Acts chapter 2. Thank God for Pentecost. Love Pentecost, <laughs> yes. And so yeah. in Acts chapter 2, we see that that, uh, that fe a feast of Pentecost has been fulfilled. Mm -hmm. You know, when the Holy Spirit came and he started the... Um, uh, he, he started, the church actually started at That's that correct. time. Mm -hmm. That was a, one of the mysteries in the Bible. It, it was hidden. Nowhere in the Bible did it talk about that there was going to be a church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that there was going to be, um, and so uh, that was fulfilled. And, but they also, on the Jewish calendar, they also have um, memorial days or holidays. Purim is one of them from the book of Esther. Mm -hmm. 
uh, that's one of them. And Hanukkah is one of them. And they, they follow events in their history that they don't want to forget. Mm -hmm. And so on our calendar, which is the Gregorian calendar, um, we don't have any Jewish feasts on ours. We don't have any Moedim, any, mm -hmm. any fixed point of time on our calendar. We have Thanksgiving, which is remembering the first Thanksgiving with the pilgrims and the, mm -hmm. and the Indians when they had that. But, you know, that was, um, that actually is structured after Feast of Tabernacles. And so um, we have, there's a lot of things that we have in our calendar, 4th of July, Veterans Day, Columbus Day, that's remembering something in our history. Veterans Day is coming up next uh, Wednesday, actually. Actually, Wait, when, when we're recording yeah, we're, this. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right, that's right, when yeah. we're recording that, yeah. And so, um, on 11-11. 11-11. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're, um, so we're recording this early. And um, so they, we don't have those fixed appointed times in our calendar. Mm -hmm. They're totally different. And, but in, and, and finding Hanukkah in the Bible is very difficult unless you have a Catholic Bible and unless you have a uh, Episcopalian Sorry, Bible. Sure, you know King James, King James, none of that has it in there. No, yeah. because the Apocrypha, mm. see, mm. what happened is, is these, um, these were put in the Bible uh, in between Malachi and Matthew. There's, uh, is it 300 or 400 years? 400, I think 400, 400 years, years of silence. Mm. Be in the, and so mm -hmm. there's things that happen in that period. Yeah. And in the book of Maccabees, mm. it's in the Apocrypha, of the Catholic Bible or the Episcopal Bible, they have the Apocrypha and there is a Maccabees in there. Of course, Jewish history has a lot of records about that. And so, but we do find Jesus celebrating Hanukkah in the Bible. Hallelujah. And I think you've got that on John 10, 22. John 10, 22. Uh, now it was the Feast of Dedication in Jerusalem and it was winter. Yeah. You know, that's that. And yeah. the Feast of Dedication in Jerusalem, and that was winter. The New Living Translation call it, says it, it was the time of Hanukkah. Mm. And see, the dedication mm. is, it's a, it's a mem memorial of when they, um, when they dedicate, rededicated the temple, and that's what we're going to talk about today. You know, it, those were really hard times when, when people were just, you know, there's a scripture, rise, shine, for your light has come, for the mm -hmm. glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Is, and darkness has covered mm -hmm. the land and gross darkness of people. Mm -hmm. That's what happened during those times, and we're going mm -hmm. to talk about that in history. But it's also called, uh, it's not just called the Feast of Dedication, it's also called the Festival of Lights. Oh. It's also called the Festival of Lights. And, and the, 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 the in, very what? interesting thing here is that uh, Jesus called himself the light. Do you have that in John 8, 12? I do. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. He was the that light. That is powerful scripture. He was the light. Yeah, and, the light. you know, we, I am the light of the have, world. We have no light. The light of God is in us. Mm -hmm. You know, once you die, your body it turns absolutely dark mm -hmm. because the light has gone. And remember when, when uh, you, you lead a lot of people to the Lord and you lead them through the baptism of the Holy Spirit, they light up, don't they? Mm -hmm. They're kind of, it's it's kind of like Moses They're coming off the mountain. It just His countenance uh, totally changed. But even, I mean... If you don't know Jesus Christ, you're walking in darkness. Exactly. And then as soon as you accept Jesus into your life, uh, everything changes. And people look at you and say, you look so different. Yeah. I mean, if you, like myself, being an alcohol and things like that, you could see the roughness of your skin and so forth in your eyes. The eyes are the light of the body. Right, right. And, uh, well, I'll tell you, when, when the light comes on, it's a, it's a miracle. It's a it's, difference. Yes, yeah. yeah. And Jesus said to them, he, he said, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. And I think you have another scripture about him being the light, don't you? Now let's go to John uh, chapter 1, and we're going to read verses 4 and, 5. 4 and 5. It says, In him was life. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Yeah, that it is didn't. powerful. And, there's a New Living Translation that says the light shines in darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. 
Yeah, What's amazing yeah. is when you, when you bring dark, you can't bring darkness into the room to put out the light. Yeah. But you can bring light into the room to put out the Well, I believe this too. Darkness. When you become a Christian and a believer, when you walk into a room of darkness, things change. Yes. Because you represent the light, yes. the light of man, the light of Jesus. Yeah. It says, in him was life. That We're talking about Jesus. Yes. In Jesus was life. And when you accept Jesus, you get that life. Yes. Ooh, now, Jesus. one thing we do, That's exciting. we do on Hanukkah, and my grandchildren love to do it too, mm. is um, yeah. <laughs> lighting the Hanukkah candles. And yes. so we're not going to be with them at Hanukkah this year, but we're going to, on, on, I do a high five every day on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I'm going to light a candle. Instead of having it in the morning, I'm going to light it at night. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to I'm going to light a, ha a Hanukkah candle. And, and there's just something about when you light that, the Hanukkah, this is, this is called a Hanukkah. A Hanukkah, it's got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places for nine candles. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is a regular menorah, a candle. And, and it's, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one's got nine. Why is the difference? You use this all year long, except Hanukkah, mm -hmm. but, and then you use that that mm, candle holder. Okay. And um, and so first of all, we have the first candle, which is called the shamash. I'm gonna put that in here. Yeah, you can put that in now. We're not going to talk about it much right now. And uh, then let's let's just pretend it's going to be the first night. We probably should have used white candles for this. You can use lots of different color candles, uh, but then when when he puts the candles in, he's going to start it from. You're supposed to start it from uh, left. Uh, from here to here. From right to left. That's how Jewish people read it. There's right to left. So, but today because they're going to see it that way, you're going to put it in the right there. Mm -hmm. And so each night there's uh, another candle put in. So these you you don't you don't blow them out. Don't let no. say it out. I'm going to let it shine. Mm -hmm. Well, the, you don't blow them out. You let it go all the way down. We did this in our home, didn't we? we yeah. And and there's just such yeah. a calmness awesome. that comes. It's mm -hmm. the beauty that of Hanukkah that comes in, and and you just talk about the Lord. The, uh, you just have Amen. it, have Amen. it, and and it's just a beautiful thing. And uh, so then the next night you're going to put another candle here. And then, and then so okay. forth. So how many candles do you think it takes for the whole eight days of Hanukkah? I don't remember what it was. It was quite a few. 45. Yeah, I was going to say in the 40s. You have yeah. to have a box yeah. of Hanukkah candles. <laughs> yeah. So order yeah. them from Amazon or we'll find a, a place where yeah. you can. So they, they have, um, but I want to tell you the history of Hanukkah right now. And, and I have a slide. And so the time period of, ha of, ha of Hanukkah, Feast of Dedication, is between Malachi and Matthew. This is when Alexander the Great died in 323 BC. Now he was, he was great. He conquered the whole known world. And we're going to leave that slide up there so you can, uh, everybody want to take a clip or whatever of it. And, um, and so when he died, actually I think he was 30 years old, he didn't have any heirs and he left mm -hmm. it through his three generals. Well, one of the generals was over um, Ptolemy, had controlled Egypt and Israel. And um, then Antiochus III won control in 1998, and Antiochus IV took over in 176 BC. Now, I'm going to read this to you. In 168 BC, Antiochus ordered his general to destroy Jerusalem. Houses were burned, walls of the city were breached, tens of thousands were sold into slavery. Can you imagine mm, it? That's Antiochus then uh, turned his attention to Mount Zion. Syrian forces smashed the gates and stripped the temple of its golden best, be, vessels and, and treasures. On Kislev 15, Antiochus erect, erected an idol of Zeus, the supreme deity of the Greek pantheon, on the holy altar. Then on the birthday of Zeus, which is actually December 25th, Antiochus sacrificed a pig on the altar. 
the ultimate abomination of the Jewish mind strictly forbidden by the law of Moses. Antiochus sprinkled its blood over the holy holies and poured its broth over the holy scrolls before cutting them in pieces and burning them. The sanctuary was laid waste like wilderness and the nation was left utterly desolate. Furthermore, an edict was issued forbidding the practice of Judaism on pay, pain of death and enforced with, how, with house searches. They went from house to house to see if they were doing anything Jewish. Wow. <laughs> if Sabbath was observed, dietary laws kept, circumcision performed, or scrolls, uh, scrolls of the law found, the whole family was put to death. Wow. Babies were yeah. hung around their mother's necks. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Babies were hung around the mother's necks, and women were thrown into the wall, and, and, met, and women were thrown over the walls of the cities. During the time of intense suffering and persecution, the faithful fled into the wilderness to live in caves, and they were hunted like animals. Thousands sacrificed their lives to remain faithful to their one true God. Thousands. Thousands. Eight, 80,000 Jews died during this siege. Mm. The, he a letter of he the writer of Hebrew mentions that these godly believers who stood against Antioch Epiphany when he recorded others were tortured, not accepting deliverance. They may obtain a better resurrection of whom the world could, uh, um, was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and mountains and de de dens and caves and of the earth. And all of these, having obtained a good testimony through faith, did not receive the promise. It's amazing that how, how brave these people were. For three years, for three years they fought. They fought to get their temple back, to get their house back. And you know, the, a gross, gross darkness had come upon the people. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and many of them started turning to idol worship because the, the, it was such a, a time of, of extreme persecution. We think there's persecution there's, there's nothing like mm -hmm. the persecution that, that they, that they, that they, that went, they through. went through. Nothing like it. Mm -hmm. And um, now we have another screen of, of the good news three years later. So three <laughs> years later, um, the next slide. Three years later, to the day, finally an open battle, they secured the victory at Beth Horn and in Emmaus, uh, opening the road to Jerusalem. There in Jerusalem, they began to cleanse the sanctuary. They removed the defilement of Greek idol and rebuilt a holy altar on Kislev 25, exactly three years to the day after its defilement. In Israel today, on the eve of Hanukkah, marathon runners are sent from the village of Modin to light a flaming freedom, freedom torture from the Hanukkah menorah there and carry them to Jerusalem with a pro procession to be held at the Western Wall of the temple to, to kindle the great menorah. This ceremony is not only a reminder of the freedom, but represents the spirit of martyrdom which made it possible. Hanukkah stands today as a heroic reminder of courageous, enduring faith in God. It's a reminder of keeping the, the things of God sa sacred. Mm -hmm. And you know, when Constantine came in, three, I think it was 300 years after Jesus, when he came in, he outlawed again. You know, <laughs> after, after Jesus, you know, and then they, after the book of Acts and everything, but then 300 years, here comes Constantine, and, and he absolutely outlawed it, everything Jewish again. Just constantly being persecuted. Absolutely. Constantly. Yeah, even in New York today yeah. during the COVID is a great persecution of the Jewish people. Hmm. And so what, what they did, they, uh, they, they, you know, they couldn't light the candle. And what they do, what, what you do at sundown is you light the candle and, and they put it in a place where it's easily seen. Now, you can't put it in a window that's got curtains because the curtains will start on fire. Right, yeah. But the Jewish people were not supposed to hide in a closet and do this. They were supposed to openly celebrate it. Hmm. And, um, and so when Constantine, they didn't know what to do. And so what they did is they started a game. Um, they started celebrating a game. Now, what it, it has on one side, it's got noon, gimel, Hay and Sheen, okay? 
And those letters mean a great miracle happened here. So when they would play with their children, so their children would never forget. I think yours is going to spin better than mine. I'll when, spin it for you. When, um, you want me to spin it? You want to spin it? Mm -hmm. uh, so when, um, when they would play that game, uh, you did really good. I can never that, get that yeah. to spin. So let's see where it ends. And so it, it ended on, on hay, which means you win the half the pot. Yes. And so what, what you do is you yes. put candy in the middle. <laughs> Some people put change, change. you know, nickels, yeah, Change is good. Yeah, change, change is good. good. Yeah. yeah, we can always spend And uh, there's, now you can get chocolate coins for, for uh, Hanukkah. And I, they have... Um, I haven't seen those for a long time. The guilt. They're called guilt, not yeah. guilt like you're guilty, but mm. G-I-L-T, it's, mm. it's a guilt. And, mm. and um, so if it lands on noon, you win nothing. If it lands on gimel, you win everything. Ooh, if it gimel. lands on hay, you win half the pot. And if it lands on sheen, you put one into the pot. Mm. And so it's, it's a fun way to play. And, and you are, what, what they're teaching the children from generation to generation is don't forget the miracles of God. Don't forget the miracles of God. You know, that in, in a lot of the schools, you, they, they don't tell you about history. They don't tell you about what is happening in history. And so what we want to do is we don't want to uh, uh, stop the miracles of God. We don't want to forget about what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. And, you know, just like uh, at Christmas time, uh, they have, uh, what, what's your favorite eats at Christmas time? Turkey. That's Thanksgiving. No, I like turkey too. <laughs> I know, yes. A turkey for turkey Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, turkey for Christmas. Christmas. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> yeah. Pumpkin pie and <coughs> vegetables. and. You like you when know. we would make the roll of sugar cookies. And then we frost them. Oh, uh, yes. He frosts yes, and he yes. eats. I think you eat more than you frost. And they, we like the frosting on You know, frosting what makes <laughs> yeah. the icing makes the, makes the cookie good. Well, guess what the Jewish people have? The Jewish people have a special food, too. They have donuts. Oh, well, with that's jelly. okay, too. You probably don't like the jelly filled ones, but they have the with powdered sugar on top and the donuts. And, um, I pretty much like all donuts. Yeah, but. you do. They're called <laughs> Sauvignon. It's okay. S-U-F-A-N-I-Y-O-T. They're jelly donuts that are toasted with brown uh, powdered sugar. Then they make, uh, like you see the, the, uh, the Hebrew stars behind us, the stars back here. Um, the, those are the Star of David. They're Mogan David. And, mm -hmm. those are, and so they make them blue. Now, we're wearing red. But the color of, of Hanukkah is blue. It's, it's just a very pretty, 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 pretty blue, time. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. just like, just like they, they light up the Christmas trees, and you know, we like to go over to Dickinson to see the lights. And, and Galveston, and Texas. And Galveston, and Texas mm -hmm. City's got a good one now. Mm -hmm. You know, they have the festival of lights. They have all of these lights. Mm -hmm. Well, Jewish people have fun like that, too. But the thing, the thing about the Jewish kids, they don't wait till Christmas Eve. They get a present every single night. Oh, come on now. Eight nights. Uh, boy, we didn't. Should we do that? We missed out on that. You're yeah. Gonna, you're, yeah, that's a good idea. You, you let's, can start yeah, shopping now. That's a good idea. <laughs> you can start shopping Y'all agree with that one? Yeah, y'all agree? <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> and, then, and then they have, they, they spin the dreidel. And then uh, they have, um, it's a lock key, lock key. Now a lock key is, it's it's like you take hash browns, you know, and you and it's like, a, it's a, a fried potato pancake. Mm. And you, it's either served with sour cream or applesauce or both. You know, it depends on what you like. But the one thing about Hanukkah is oil. You know mm. why? Because when, when they cleanse the temple on Kia, Kislev 25, they only had enough, they don't, they don't you, in, the, in, the, in the temple, they did not use candles, they used oil. And so you would pour, put oil in the first one and then it would, uh, it would come down, it was like this, you'd put the oil in it and then it would go into all the branches and light, light all of them. So you would just light one, just like all you had to do is light Jesus and he lights us all. Wow. I well, know, I, I love like that. that. I love yeah, that analogy. That's, that's, that's and, um, and so the, um, 
they, they only had enough pure oil for the menorah for one day. And because it takes eight days for them to purify the oil for the menorah, it had, does it have special oil? So mm -hmm. you didn't put off the smoke and dirt and all that kind of stuff. And so they poured that one, one um, enough for one day in there. And guess what? The next day, it was still lit. Still lit. And then the next day, it was still lit. Wow. It stayed. That, that one day of supply of oil lasted for eight days. And oh. that's why a lot of the things with Hanukkah oh, yeah. have to do with oil, because uh, the, the oil that lasted for eight days, everything about mm. that is for eight days. That's exciting. And so, yeah, so that, it's, it's, it's just a very special, special time uh, where they remembered the, uh, the people that were so strong in their faith. And, and that's what we have to remember about Hanukkah, is be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Amen. Amen. And with yeah. that, we're going to close. You want to pray for the well, people? Well, thank you, Mary, so much. I uh, hope you uh, had a chance to learn something today about Hanukkah. Uh, it's very, very interesting. And I'm sure there's a lot more to it, uh, you know, that there's you a lot could more to it. do it, yes. dig into it and so forth. And, but yes. we're so blessed to have you with us today. Father, bless everyone that's yes. watching today. We pray, Lord God, that this has uh, enlightened them somewhat on yes. Hanukkah. And uh, we just pray for the Jews, those that are persecuted. Yes. Father, we pray, God, geez, just inter inter intervene in situations yes. like that, Father God, because you love everybody. Amen. You're not a respecter of persons, Lord. You love everybody. Amen. And we're so blessed yes. to have you on our side. The yes. Lord is on our side. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh, we want to encourage you to, we would like to hear from you. Uh, just drop us a line at KenBostromMinistries.org. We love to hear what the God is doing and if these programs are uh, helping you. And I'm sure they are. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. We'll, uh, we love you. And uh, we'll see you next time on United Purpose Broadcast. Yes. This is Ken and Mary. God bless you. Love Happy you now. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Bye-bye.